Let's say I hit something on my head and I lost my memories. I don't remember anything that happened in my career and I somehow lost all my knowledge on how to code. What should I do to get it all back? In this video, I'll tell you all about exactly what I would do if I were to start my career all over again from scratch in 2024 in the current job market. My name is Phil. I became a senior developer without a CS degree at the age of 30. If you find this video valuable, please like and share and comment. It'll help other people find this video as well. So question one is what path should I choose? Bootcamp, self-taught, uh, CS degree. Um, they're all valid and they're all good. Uh, I went to a bootcamp and I wouldn't mind at this point going back to a bootcamp because it really does accelerate those job skills, right? It uh, helps you just, it doesn't really give you a deep, deep knowledge, but it does plant the seeds in your head to kind of, if you were to take the path of like wanting to learn more without going and spending a bunch of time at college, you get to go to a boot camp, learn the skills you need to in a couple months. And then not saying you'll be super job ready, but you are job ready to a certain point, but you'll have the seed in your head. Okay, this is interesting. I want to go deeper. And for me, I would go to a boot camp and kind of learn as fast and as best I can and uh, keep studying on my own time. For me, when I choose a boot camp, I would definitely look at the price. So two factors I think of are looking at the price and if it fits my budget and also so I would interview the boot camp like the instructor who's going to teach me what am I going to learn and honestly what you're going to learn is not as important as how you're going to learn and that instructor is going to be very important for that and that the teaching style and the learning style has to match the experiences have to match with the trinity so what language stack would I choose for the current job market for me if I were to start over I just choose javascript and stick with node.js in the beginning I stuck I uh I did php I did javascript I did django or, or python I did a little bit of c++ try to learn golang and rust and all this kind of stuff but uh, you know if i were to start all over just stick with one and the knowledge will transfer over so i just do node.js get into you know express meteor or molecular or nest.js and uh kind of just go deeper and deeper into that and react or svelte and um there's so many and the ecosystem and the community is so big that um you can find resources and answers everywhere so some projects I would choose to do to kind of like master the skills is um in the beginning, obviously, like uh, I don't know anything I got hit in the head. So uh, I would choose really easy projects like a calculator or, you know, try to make a Tetris or something like that inside of the console and uh, things like that and work with a little bit of HTML and CSS. And at that point, like I feel like I would be like ready if I'm like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, I have that in my belt. But um on top of that, like I would try to find like websites and try to clone them as best I can. Pixel perfect design so at least I could be used for kind of like making front end and uh, picking up like CSS work or something and then um from there I probably try to clone the features of the app right so after I get all the UI done which is a little bit of a pain but you know someone has to do it and uh, some people like it more power to you if you do but um I, I like it sometimes also so like um you know I just like uh, try to really clone the features like the authentication system login sign up forgot password uh, forgot username and then like if they have chat in there I try to make a chat and then I make a little chat module to kind of carry around with me um you know like um profile management or commenting and I just like try to find an app with all the features so I have experience in doing any of the features so that's those are some kind of projects like examples of the kinds of projects that I get into to kind of get myself job ready so I like seeing a new feature won't really scare me and I can kind of say hey I've done that before I have a little bit of experience so I can kind of try and figure it out and get deeper into that feature so and then once you got good enough like after you get a couple years and you're uh, like if I got in the head and I uh, and I got like you know a couple years I definitely just, you know, try to think of some kind of CRUD app to kind of do like a create, read, update, delete, and um, kind of like build on top of that. So like the main focus is like, okay, I really like dogs, uh, maybe like a dog walking app. So like dog walkers, and I'd um, have like a roster of dog walkers and a roster of dogs and try to match them. And, um, and then you can just always build on top of that. And then there's dog walker finders. And then each of those is like three CRUDs each so then um i do that and then um i try to figure that out and then in there the dog walker owner the dog walker seeker and the dog walker have to chat and communicate and then see if it's a good match for the dog and then you can just build on top and keep on building and and that's my point i guess so after you have some experience like you don't have to be like the most experienced but after like you know a couple months or a year you have some skills and you're ready to start networking you not that you can't start networking from the beginning or i could 
if I got hit in the head and I forgot everything. I can't, I could just start networking from the beginning. You know, to gain respect as a programmer in those networking circles, in those social circles, I'm gonna have to kind of put myself out there as a programmer that can find solutions to problems. And if you do have a solution, I can implement those solutions. And uh, I can brainstorm with you and I can come up with the uh, an easier way or a more interesting way. Or, and um, I think that'll help kind of my image in these networking circles and places that I can find these networking circles is like Meetup or um, Instagram. I'm sure that you can find like uh, whatever city you live in, you can find some um, form or chat room, even Craigslist. You can find some like just try typing coding inside of the forums or something and you can find some other programmers that think like you. And one place you can really network is uh, my Discord community. It's um, there are plenty of people from all over the world and uh, you can connect and build projects there as well. And I wish I had my own Discord community. If I lost my memory, it would be freaking awesome, actually. So my goals is like, oh, uh, like I'm a new programmer. I have a little bit of experience and uh, I just put myself out there as much as I can. And, um, you know, even if it's not now, put yourself out there so people can call you back and uh, put your name out there and put your face out there and um, just uh, put the feelers out there and uh, wait for people to respond. So what kind of jobs are available if I lost my memory for junior developers? Uh, data gatherers, like uh, if you, cause I think AI is very popular and those AI models need like uh, data to kind of use. And um, I also think just uh, UI, like front end developers, CSS, working on UI, um, away from like the API requests and stuff. I think, you know, if you can make very good responsive designs, pixel perfect um, UI, uh, you're definitely usable. and. Uh, like utilizable as a company because like people that are working on like business logic APIs and connecting the APIs and all that kind of stuff I think the last thing they want to do is uh, think about like the design and and honestly you're at if you're programming and you're in that you have that experience you have to like talk with the UI UX designers a lot which have meetings and that takes away from your job of hitting the goals of what the CEO wants and how to make the money but the way I see it like um, the front end and designers uh, work with the marketers and then the back end developers kind of work with the CEO and like the business people of like the business logic. And rather than that side of the business logic, I think working with the marketing and making beautiful designs, I think that's a, a job that as a junior developer, you could kind of do. Oh, and also as a junior developer to prepare for, uh, you know, the 2025 job market, there's so many chatbots everywhere. And before you only thought like LLMs uh, were able to be created by uh, companies like Tesla or Apple or Samsung. But now these medium sized and smaller companies are um, creating their own LLMs, right? Their own RAG, retrieval augmented generation systems where like you could uh, put things into the system prompt or the settings and it could be your own data and you can teach it to kind of like make API calls and stuff like that. So it's um, in the end, I think all these jobs are gonna open up because everybody's gonna want their own instead of like an admin panel that I have to click through. What if I could just ask like a natural language, uh, hey, how many customers did we have today? And I'm sure every company wants that. And that's, uh, that's what's going to happen in the future. And admin, like the chatbot will replace the admin panel and, um, soon and all, all that needs to be built. So, you know, those jobs will open up. So I'd get ready for like working with chatbots. And then also it's my hypothesis, but, um, you know, like I said earlier, AI models and chatbot models or whatever, those LLMs are going to need data to feed to their systems. And, um, one thing that can validate the data. Because right now, chatbots, sometimes they get bad data and um, sometimes they come up with bogus answers because of the bad data it's fed. To validate that data before it goes, it gets trained, maybe uh, blockchain could uh, help that because blockchain, you could um, kind of, if someone trolls or something, you could kind of link it to whoever did it because it's an immutable database and uh, learning about blockchain isn't a bad thing right now. So how I could leverage my skills property to maximize profits is um, putting yourself out there like networking, making sure you get seen as a problem solver, a programmer. And um, you know, then people might ask you if you can like make them a website or make them an app and uh, you get these inquiries, right? And um, then you can, if you can know in your head how to kind of break down the project and uh, you need this and this and this and talk, you know, not in programming talk, but as a human to that person in person talk and uh, kind of like explain, okay, these are this is your problem or this is what you need to do. And you can kind of break it down. You can get a, and like, it's gonna be expensive no matter what for that comp, that guy or whatever, or that girl that needs an app or a website or whatever. If they give you the project and you can break it down uh, and it's not like you're gonna do the whole project on your own. You have to find a designer, but they're willing to pay that money. You could find another designer. You could help find a developer. 
you that can help you you could find a devops engineer and all this kind of stuff to kind of get that project done so just putting yourself out there and getting those opportunities will uh, maximize your opportunity to earn so i lost my memory and i got my fr and i and i've been programming for a couple years now and i got my experience or maybe a year and um i got my first job so the the first thing I need to do is like gain the respect and uh, you know understanding of how I communicate and understanding of how they communicate uh, by my colleagues or my peers, right? So the way I can do that is uh, just be you know honest and show integrity. If I'm gonna finish something on time, it doesn't matter how long I have to sit there or if I have to take it home, I will finish it and show that you have um, you know diligence and um, that you're not just gonna coast by, but you all you will push yourself and uh tell the company hey um these tasks are you know they're a little bit boring for me if you can uh give me some bigger tasks so i can grow i think that little sentence that can um really change how someone views you and you can kind of um say hey uh i want these tasks to kind of grow and become a, a good developer and if you really express that i think that's um that's one big step forward that you can do to like gain respect so there's so many roadmaps and um different ways to navigate yourself to a job market and gain your skills. My way isn't always the right way, and maybe there is a better way, but there is never a right way. So, so please share in the comments below your own roadmaps or your own ideas or any uh, experiences you've had learning or getting yourself job ready. And I would love to read and get a discussion going in the comment section. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.